Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. I'm Krigo and oh boy, we just had a wild party, right? This is the aftermath of it. Nothing destroyed except every peace and quiet moment that we might have while we are in an intergalactic war. Let's go back home though. Let's go back to the Normandy. Let's have a great time and let's see how it goes. Oh, good scene. Why? Calls, huh? Ah. Even with a hangover? There's still a war. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Alrighty. I'm sure if we did flirt with Liara a little bit more, um, something else might have happened there. But we chosen for Tally in Mass Effect 2, right? All right, game on. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Our last one until you finish kicking the Reaper's ass is me. Because that's the plan. It's kind of sad also, right? You know that the clone didn't have anybody. He was wondering what we had that he didn't have. And that our friends and allies. And then we kicked him down <laughs> our ship, right? Oh well. Well, I think we have been everywhere so far, right? So, although I fear a little bit, let's go over here. Let's see what the Micron Fleet has to say. Let's see how Tally is doing. I wish he was around though, right? You know, in an apartment party, but oh well, oh well, oh well. Anything around here? I don't think so. But better try it out, anyways. N4 ship. So this is not, of course, you know, the Micron Fleet. This diplomatic frigate is like no Korean ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. Okay, that's interesting. I think Tally did uh, steal technology for her own people. How the Koreans developed this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming methods are being tight-beamed to the Normandy. We kinda know though. Tally, the little spy. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. It is kind of wrong, though, but understandable. Would have been easier all around if you'd succeeded. Indeed. Our predecessors underestimated the threat. They gave the Geth time to mobilize. Whereas you chose to attack the Geth rather than consider negotiation. I agree, Admiral Chorus. That was a mistake. We're correcting our ancestors' mistakes. In the middle of a galactic invasion. This was the most appropriate time. Of course it was. The Council was too busy with the Reapers to slap sanctions on you for starting another war. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system. When this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. 
Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Yeah, the problem is though, right, you know, the Geth wants to survive too, and their only ally will be a Reaper, right, you know, against the biologics. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Admiral, huh? Congratulations! Shepard. Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped. Thanks, but I knew you had your own problems. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. And do you still want me so out of place? Wow. And what about us? Us being together divide the fleet? No. Well, possibly. I, I, I don't know. But right now, I've got civilian ships taking fire. Can we keep this quiet? At least in front of the admirals? Sure thing, Miss Voss Normandy. Well, thank you. If you want to talk in private, maybe you could invite me up to your cabin? Maybe I could. And, for the record, still totally worth it. Alrighty though, huh? <laughs> they got very, very sick after. I mean, that is very cool though, right? You know, that it was totally worth it and... Commander. Okay, nothing there. I mean, you know, it was not an, uh, an unpleasant experience for her and that is what matters the most, right? You know. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. Hey. You're not alone. This was supposed to be my father's fight, but he left me with all of this. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. You've given up so much, stood for too long without allies. I didn't want you to do this alone. So if you're ever lonely, just let me know. Tally, nothing between us has changed. Unless you wanted to. Kila Shepard. I'm not going to beg, but I didn't come up here just to see the fish. No, you came up here because I asked you to. I want you here. With me. Oh. 
Okay. All right, Paramour a tree. Not bad, not bad. We did buy some new stuff over here, by the way. So that's very interesting. I want to have as much damage as possible right with the weapon. And we have that for now, sadly. All right, let's see, let's see. Squeak. Squeak. There you go. Now, to be honest, I think we have to just continue this little thing, right? Go to war right now with <laughs> with the Gads and the Reapers again. Well, with the Reapers, not go to war, but to go to battle. And with the Gev, technically go a little bit to war, probably. Disable the Gev Dreadnought. But what do we have around here, though? Huh? Gev the Breathe Field? Interesting. Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh uncountable number of gav as uh, steatides satellites that use solar sails to self-correct their position very interesting wait a minute they have been destroyed this is the micron fleet over here interesting though huh well let's go with the dreadnought it's a beautiful ship though right you know inspired by the reapers itself Oh, nice, Tally is with us this time. Ah, so we make a little bit of a jealousy, or shall we have our own AI? Yeah, our own AI will be very good, right, if you think about it. The reason for that is, it's actually, right, you know, like, um, we could actually show them that we are acceptable of, you know, synthetics. Even AIs, one might say. Alright, here we are. I'm very excited for this uh, fight, by the way. You know, it's it's for the Koreans. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. to overthrow the humans, you will be the first to know. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. I like the TR teasing one another right you know but it's also very fun to see actually you know like uh man this battle was by the way freaking awesome but it's also fun you know like how oh, Edie and i stared at each other she has bad experience with ai after all it makes so much sense no oh yeah were having trouble. that ship is enormous it is yeah that is quite a bit, though, but not too big, if you think about it, right? Wow, yeah, and we have plenty of those dreadnoughts, I suppose. I really hope they are not shooting at us over here. How are you doing, Shepard? 
I'm doing fine. Well, the lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Yeah, don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. We the Gath are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I got very lucky there, didn't Looks I? Like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I mean, I wouldn't mind though to go after these Reaper Gaffs, right? You know, all solo. Good infiltration team, even if solo, can do a whole lot before you find out. A team too big might just get too much attention, you know. But one player being solo, oh, that's dangerous too, right, you know. It's easy mission failure if I get wounded or anything like that. So far, I don't think they know that I'm here. There we go. Yeah. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Which one? Okay, these over here. I mean, it could be up there too, right? Uh, probably also. Yep, yep, yep. It, it is, it is. I have to say, though, the design is quite elegant, right? Nice, crisp, and tight. Cables everywhere, though. Do you have to do something about that? She's so teasing, right, you know, teasing or uh, a gun over here, but not only that, though. She was also bending over, right? Looks you know? It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy. So where are we headed? Oh. We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. All right. Closest one. Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. I do like this Cat-6 uh, weapon, by the way. It I believe the dreadnoughts using ultraviolet frequencies instead of the standard infrared. Okay. Expensive. Better give them an edge in close combat, though. When oh, the yeah. rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. You okay? I will be. Thanks. Kind of set for Legion 2, right? We were kind of getting along big time. Man, this pistol is ultra strong. It really is a mad machine of a pistol. You don't need one. Of course. It's kind of funny, right? You know, that was a very dumbass comment. That's okay. Previously, Shepard. Tactical advice? Disable their shield. Then take them down before they recharge. Where? I don't see where they're shooting from. But anyways, we do lack self-preservation too, right? Because look what we are doing non-stop, man. We are going from danger zone to danger zone. Somebody has to do it, I suppose, right? Look, the signal's hitting all gas processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. 
Its structure is amazingly complex. It is unsurprising that the Quarians have been unable to disrupt it. We may be able to extract combat data from these sensor panels. We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. I won't Damn. let you down, Tally. Well, we better hurry up though, right, you know? Better loot anything possible. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? Unlikely. Consoles like this are accessing programs being used by hundreds of guests simultaneously. Of course, of course. They are all cooperatively to disable the Reaper's signal. Oh! The Dreadnought Operation Center is just ahead. Good. I think we are going to meet Legion. That wasn't shooting at us though, was it? Was it? One hundred down. One hundred down? Okay. I mean, that's a little bit quick, though. And this is a down. Beautiful. Let's see if that console is operational. We are way too strong over here, man. Way too strong. Okay, SMG scope two. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. We could blow it up from here, though. Signals coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down. Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. Tunnels, you know, like air ducts. Oh. Right by the drive core. That could work. But the Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. Alright. Diffusion system. Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. Oh, we can only hope so, right, darling? I mean, life will be a little bit boring without anybody shooting at us. Get are dropping from the ceiling. There could be cloak hunters as well. Get I hope so. Have more. More. Give me more. All right. They are listening. Very nice of Legion, though, to give us a practice. Hmm. I still feel a little bit bad, right, for Legion, because I'm certain he feels betrayed too. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Of course, of this course. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Intriguing. I found the geometric shapes intuitive and comfortable. I assumed you all felt the same. I can detect the faint presence of Geth intelligences. Those not loaded into mobile platforms serve in the ship itself. Really? For all our cybernetic upgrades. I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Hmm. You do not need to be circumspect. I am aware that you and Tally became physically fight against the collectors thank you Edie. <laughs> i like ed man oh yeah let's put uh special bullets on it's kind of interesting that ed probably did spy a little bit on us right you know hmm Let's see, what do we have around here, right? I, I, I suspect, I don't know why, but for a dark Jedi to show up. Maybe it, this, this place reminds me of Jedi Academy Jedi Assault, right? Man. Shepard, this is wrong. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. 
We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. Freaking idiots, right? In the intergalactic war, he, wa he, wa he want to attack the Geth, right? And he was struggling against the Geth. How do they think they might survive against the Reapers then? You know? How? And Legion was an ally. He would be willing to help uh, everybody out. I think they surrendered themselves, you know. Uh, to the Reapers. Oh my god, they are shooting here. Yep, do you hear the laser charging up? He might be. But a little bit too late though, huh? Nice. Do I look like I care for one of your rockets? Well, maybe slowly on though, right, you know? Wait, behind me? Bye bye. Alright, let's go over here. Heal up. Uh, reload, I mean. Oh, we could just walk up here. Okay. Bye bye. Hmm. Oh, it is... It is a little bit chaotic around here, man. Just a little bit. Come on, reload. This rocket boy, man, may uh, cost a problem. Here we are. Activate. We want to have the laser gun, right, you know? Before every Korean ship is getting destroyed. Line. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Okay, well, how long will that last, though, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh! That was tight. Oh, my. Excellent timing. I know. I mean, that, that was way too close, man. Way too close for comfort. Can we stop it again? Hey, big boy. Maybe he was a fan, right? Maybe he wanted to have a hug before he got destroyed. I like that the pulses really don't harm any of us, right, you know? Right. I better shoot twice in a row at times. Nice emulate there, uh, Tully. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rather quick. Come on, come on. Anything nice here? Oh, we do have someone invisible. No. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we are. I wonder what the Reapers might think of the Geth at this moment, by the way. Like, primitive, probably, yes. You know, like, total negative, because they are, well, sentient uh, big boys. But, then again, you know, like, they are AIs, so it's also a very bad thing. That is what they are built to destroy, right? <laughs> ah, her heck, huh? I mean, that will be funny. The girl that she should have lived with, right? Oh my god, I don't want that.
Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. I am pleased we have the chance to free you from confinement. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once free, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. That is extremely reasonable, Legion. Greetings, Edie. We did not expect you to gain license to operate a personal unit. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. I am familiar with the concept. The AI shackle Cerberus used to keep you under control. Yes. Used by organics, it is understandable. Forget to install this in a formally independent unit is... unnecessary. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. All right. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? Yeah, I no. mean... Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree with that, though. <sighs> Got it. Tell Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Still wears my armor, huh? Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Get reinforcements incoming! Oh, this is going to be fun, man. I'm happy that you're withdrawing. I want them to leave the the home world, right? You know. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 calm there, all right? You know, big boy, calm there. Let me do some damage too. Whoppa. Nice. It was just shooting whenever I tried to reload, you know. Okay, that's yours. Nice. Yeah, they don't care. are dead all of them right i mean wow though i am totally going to destroy his ass right you know Shepard Commander, the Creator fleet is firing upon this vessel. We 
Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Just transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Gaff fighters are docked in a port side fighter bay. We can pilot a fighter to safety. Man, that guy is going to have a lot of trouble with us, right? Because he shot against an alliance commander. That means that he is declaring war against humanity. I will not go to total war, though, but he will have to, to send trial for it. Maybe, if we are lucky. Come on. Oh my, <laughs> this is getting worse though. Ten seconds. The wow. They fired on the dreadnought while you were on board. They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead, I know Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years, but I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet, and the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Yeah, but he's not done with, right? You know, after this war, he's going to pay for it. strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. We could have had a super dreadnought, though, right? You know, in our pockets. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect... <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about you? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? 
This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades. Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Okay. I mean, it was really, really hard though what we did with them, but I don't care about it too much, right? You know, we have to take care of a lot of things. And we have to let them know that we don't tolerate shit against humanity, right? You know, we are fighting for everyone, but especially for humanity. We got this fleet later on, right? You know, from the Citadel, Citadel Defense Forces. Very, very nice. That's a lot, though. The Alliance, second most powerful army in the galaxy, apparently. Alliance Engineers, uh, Zaid, Mazani, not bad. Alliance Frigate, Normandy, SR2. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And we have the Asari. Asari 6 Fleet did join us. We almost are at 6,000. Not bad. And the Turians. Turian 6 Fleet. Not bad either. Alright. I mean, I have to say, this is a very nice number right now. I hope I didn't screw up too much, but still. Let's see, what is this over here? Can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our core system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull breaches. Life support failing. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Hmm. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them, if he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Dally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a Dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real Dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Dally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Yeah, we already had this Here's one. What you've got. Indeed. Impressive. They lack the armor of a 
Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I mean, I do like most of them, even the military guy, right? But he just played with all life and he played with the life of Tally and I don't support that shit, right? But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe though. Bye-bye.